our young people are looking at this and they're saying this is something that is right because the politicians, the leaders of our country, this is something that they do. So, Mr. Prime Minister, I would like for you to, first of all, apologize on the way you responded to the question. And secondly, allow me to finish, please. Allow me to finish, please. See on this matter than I do. If I am not here to create, and I make that point very seriously, because I am not here to create a system that is going to deprive Jamaicans of their freedom. And you know what else? But the bill I does. Am not, I am not hiding from consultation. I am here facing the questions. Unlike most, I am facing the questions and answering them. And I will go to every church in Jamaica. I will go to every room, every house, and I will answer them. I wonder if Andrew Wallace is too big to apologize or him feel like him too mighty to answer to the questions of these youths that are concerned about certain situation. Now, Andrew Wallace get up, cross, angry, me is a rebel. I start this up the youth them, up a youth take for no reason at all because them ask him a few questions about the need ID situation. You understand the people them concern. The people them concern. But instead of being a, a, a leader where the youths them can look up to and say, yes, this is a good leader. You have be a bad man, a gangster. You have use badness against these youths. And not just you, they use badness against them. But the woman, we are monitor the mic. You should say the host. Where the host is sure. It's like she don't want the youths them to talk. Where they pan in mind. I'm a realize that from Andrew is coming up over. Nobody knows to talk where they pan in mind. Everybody must be silent. A government badness in my use against the Jamaican people. And that cannot work. We need a leader what that we can always talk to without being scared. We can always criticize the leader when he do something wrong without being scared. That the leader is going to do something stupid to us. I like me to tell people. But blessed Sunday to my viewers and my subscribers. I me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful Sunday. Now my viewers and my subscribers. Remember in everything you do. Always put God first. In every or uh, any situation. Just always remember for call upon God. Always remember for pray. Because a prayer day. Keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this update. So you definitely don't want to miss it. But guess what? Make a run the intro and come back. We so forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if it's a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, you know one of the worst things? One of the worst things we could have happen is that you live in our country. A country that are run by a group of arrogant people that want to silence the citizen of the country whenever they come up with some concern. Imagine you have a prime minister and you cannot even speak to your own prime minister. You can't even voice your own concern to your prime minister without your prime minister getting ignorant on you. Imagine a country with a leader when every time you say something bad about the leader, the leader send police come beat you. Or the leader send, well, anything can happen. Any kid can play after you say something bad about the leader. You understand what I mean? I say, but it should not be like that. 
when this man did go in a power, he was a homeless person. You could ever find. He presented his, 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 himself like a leader, a true, true leader. The man presented himself like a true leader, like he is for the people and will stick with the people. But now that he gained power, he threw the people on the back burner and he fried them up. He dashed the people of this country because of what? He feel like him big, bad and mighty now. So, our vice no matter anymore. But yet still you want the people of Jamaica to vote for you. When the vice does not matter to you anymore. The people are afraid to talk to you, Mr. Holiness. Look how you deal with the youth, them up at you tech. You think that is necessary? You think that look good? When our young youth watch all these videos and see how you deal with the youth, them up at you how you think them behave in the street, at school, and in place to even behave to them own parent because of you. You should be a leader. And you should act like a leader. But you're not acting like a leader. You act like you is a gangster. A bad man. A gang leader. I show you they behave. Like anybody say nothing. You just feel like I say yeah. You know, say that boy, I chat too much, I girl, I chat too much. I bust me, I bust up him out, you know. I then wait to they behave, Mr. Leader. And that is not right. The way how you deal with them youth, a while ago, I can see, say, the youth, them shaming at them face. And it is a national disgrace. It is a national disgrace. How you deal with the youth, them. And uh, every day, me hear people get up, say, you are the best prime minister ever. How can you be the best prime minister when the people them of Jamaica can't even talk to you? You bully them. You are bully the people. Your wife are bully the people. And you, 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 your people them will represent you. I bully the people them. And not just the people them will represent you. But the people them will follow back on you and vote for you. I bully people as well because they can't, people can't even talk in peace without your support as them. Bully them. Because they don't have to say nothing. Nobody don't have to say nothing about you. That's not supposed to go so, Mr. Holiness. Mr. Holiness, it's not supposed to go so. You turn the people of Jamaica against you. Whose fault is it? Your fault. Because you come in like you're a good person and then you are just a arrogant person. How oh, are you so arrogant, man? You never used to be like this. Well, uh, you used to be like it, but you need to hide your true colors. But people, we don't talk too much. Let me play this video so you guys can have a better understanding of what I am talking about. And then we come back and talk some more. Good night, everyone. My name is Daniel Thomas. I'm the president of the Love March Movement, which is a youth organization. And we have an initiative called colorblind which is where we encourage young people to be engaged in political and national matters with an unbiased eye with, without political um, assignment or you know alignment rather okay so my issue that I would like to raise um, at this time is with respect to um, needs all right now I am not and we are not against a national ID. We see the benefit of it. There are great pros. It will fill gaps in the country. But we believe that in its current form, it poses significant issues for many Jamaicans, um, especially with the fact that there has not been, in, in my opinion, and many other Jamaicans, 60,000, I checked the petition this morning, 60,000 Jamaicans here and abroad who feel that there needs to be more consultation, ventilation of the issues, speaking about, speaking about pros and cons, all right, both of them are important to our consultative process. Um, so we are being told that we must enroll in NEEDS or in the next three years we'll be um, possibly fined a max of $100,000 and um, barred from government services and possibly private services as well, the only exception being where there's a threat to health or life. 
or a state of national emergency. Now, I'm deeply concerned about this bill because of the impact on the country. So, um, so Charles, so you, you have given us two points in the bill that you'd like um, responded to. Well, I can't go into all of them, but just to say, right now uh -huh. I qualify for NHT. Yes. In three years, I will somehow lose my qualification. Because, I mean, somebody can respond to the NHT points, of course. You're sure about that? Well, that is my understanding because it won't be a threat to well, my this, this life is where or you, health. This is, this is where you're going to come to get all the answers. All right. right. So allow them to respond now. Thanks, Charles. Really so appreciate with, it. We have over 60,000 Jamaicans. Um, so Charles, and, uh, Charles, so you have to Thomas, allow them to oh, respond. Me? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Thomas, sorry. I'm so sorry. Thomas, Thomas, my apologies. Can I just I finish the, the last name. two lines here? The last it's two lines. Very quick. Two points or lines? Two lines. So my, my closing thought would be, to allow, to withdraw the bill, allow for proper ventilation of the issues over a three month period even, town hall meetings and joint select committee where we can properly speak about the many, many issues that are in the bill. We're not against Thank the bill, you. but we are for the country of Jamaica moving forward. Thanks well, Thomas, I excellent. What. Now, here are the words of the show I handle the youth. Here are she behave like she can't wait to cut off the youth because she crop the youth attack. I don't go on, you know. Because she wants to make Andrew Wallace feel good. And feel like say, yes, she protect him. But by right, the youth, the youth should get his fair chance to talk. Just like everybody else. But true, the youth bring up this thing about need. About need. And the youth now big up Andrew Wallace chest like that. They might try to rush him. Cut him off quick, quick, quick. You understand? Because me see other people come up there and then rush them. Because they might talk sweet about Andrew Wellness. And they might skin off him teeth and they might go on with himself and all of that. And everybody did a laugh up. But because of this youth concern. Because of this youth concern. They might try to cut him off. They might try to silence him. Because I saw when you have any concern in this country. They try to silence you. Any concern at all that you have in this country. Regarding to the Prime Minister. They try to silence you. They don't want you to talk. So they might try to silence this youth. But that is not, that, 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 that are not the very people. More want to listen to Andrew Wallace when him get up and attack. Just check out how Andrew Wallace behave now, people. Check it out. Um, Thomas? Thomas, yes. I'm, I'm very happy that we find common ground, being that we are both for the country moving forward. But I just wanted to know, can you know get your NHT benefit without providing identification? I just wanted to know. No. And the answer is no. No, you can't. Secondly, 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 and let's be clear, uh, let's be clear. Hang on, Thomas, you don't get a second chance. So sorry, you already asked. You you it's your rhetorical. No, you already asked. Oh, it was I'm rhetorical. Sorry. Okay, okay, fine. Like many other things, it's rhetorical. Fine, fine. Secondly, Thomas, do you know, how old are you, Thomas? I am 26. Do you know that this bill, this idea of creating a national registry, started from as early as 1970? And we have been discussing this national ID morphed from having the a birth certificate that's unique starting with ID for voting which by now most Jamaicans who don't intend to vote but who want some identification decides that well we will take the voter ID but we won't vote I'll give my fingerprint for the voter ID but I don't vote. There are 1.8 million Jamaicans who want an ID and they give their fingerprint willingly, including some of the 60,000 who signed the petition. Yeah. Answering personal questions, <laughs> providing personal information and freely giving of their biometric. The government has that now. What's new? You talk about consultation. 
and speaking about this bill. In 2002, this bill was brought to the Parliament of Jamaica by the then Minister of Health, John Jr. It was tabled in Parliament and a joint select committee was named. It sat and languished and nothing happened. In 2009, former Prime Minister Bruce Golding saw that the bill was there, it's, nothing is happening with it, started a, a, a resurrection of it. In 2012, former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller took the bill. And her very statements, this is a very important thing and we are going to push it. And started the negotiation for a loan to do this with the IDB. It was good for them to start the conversation about a $64 billion loan. But now it is not good. You know what I reject? Do you know what I reject? I reject the view that somehow you have a higher moral authority on this matter than I do. If I am not here to create, and I make that point very seriously, because I am not here to create a system that is going to deprive Jamaicans of their freedom. And you know what else? But the bill I, am not, I am not hiding from consultation. I am here facing the questions. Unlike most, I am facing the questions and answering them. And I will go to every church in Jamaica. I will go to every room, every house, and I will answer them. Because I am not trying to take away anybody's right. Deal with the Prime Minister. And I find that this discussion is disingenuous, on. unfair, and this untruthful. And I will tell you, Jamaica, I am not going to hide from this. If you say, if you say that you are for Jamaica, and that you agree that we should have a national civil registry, then let us talk as we are doing, but let us talk on the facts of the situation, not on the untruth and what we make up. Let us discuss the facts. So when I hear the Prime Minister behavior, when I hear his vice of tone, or his tone of vice, the way how the big man we should be a leader for this country behavior, like him a hooligan in the place. When I hear how the Prime Minister behavior while I go with the little youth, when I hear how the woman I try to shut down the little youth or when the youth I try to correct and Joel is about something. She had tried to shut down the youth. So basically, the youth never said nothing at all. He get a chance to talk, no say nothing. So all when Andrew get the, the idea the wrong way, the youth never correct him because he get anything when he say, ah, that goes already. You know, say nothing more. I saw them deal with the youth, you know, like say a badness, them deal with panel youth, you know. So when you behave so, how do you expect the youth them to behave after? You don't behave like your leader, you behave like your gangster. So if you are a gangster, then go join the gangster world, come out of politics. You understand me? I say you cannot lead the country and behave like that. The way how you behave, and not just the way how you behave. Let me make this point right now. You started to blame in the PNP, so the PNP bring in need. That you started, you know. You, you take it off a few shoulder and put it on the PNP shoulder and then you will say um I continue you they continue it no it's your idea and you come up with this demonic idea because it is a part of the Samoa agreement and that is why the Barbados um Prime Minister slam you and tell you say you is not a man people the Barbados Prime Minister Slam Andrew Wallace. I will miss a slam him. Me me they slam him and blam him. Yeah man. Me have the video there for one people in the next update. Later on from now. 
What me just make on the nose that I come up? The Barbados Prime Minister say Andrew Wallace is nothing but a puppet. We are trying to mislead the Caribbean. And him can him, him love corruption and him can't even control corruption. And him don't want to control corruption. There's a lot of things that this woman say people. But that I feel later. But people, back to what um we were talking about. Andrew Wallace need to calm down. And every day I get worse and worse. You understand what I say? But let us hear from this other young man what he had to say to the Prime Minister. Okay, good night everyone. Uh, my name is Glendon Martin. I am a student of the University of Technology. And I had a question, but the president had, uh, had a similar question, so I'll allow him to ask the question. But what I have to say, well, I have a comment actually. The gentleman that asked the question on needs, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, I was taken aback by the way you responded to the question. I felt that you came across too strong and it, 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 when I was listening to you, while I was listening to you, I was Hold saying, on, should I go and ask this gentleman a question? Will he answer me in the same tone that he answered the young man? And I, what I want to, to say and what I want to see in Jamaica or overall with politics is that our politicians behave sometimes, even in parliament, when you see them jumping over, arguing with each other. Our young people are looking at this and they're saying this is something that is right because the politicians, the leaders of our country, this is something that they do. So, Mr. Prime Minister, I would like for you to, first of all, apologize on the way you responded to the question. And secondly, allow me to finish, please. Allow me to finish, please. So, 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 my, my, my darling, hang on one second. Sir, sir, hold on, everybody, everybody, everybody. One second, one second. You know, the, the, the great thing about youth, hold on, the great thing about youth is that we see no boundaries at all, none at all. I think that you possibly could think hard on your comment and suggestion, really, in terms of the implications. I understand yes, your sir. feeling, but allow the Prime Minister to respond, though, and since you have no thing. quite question. Allow the just, Prime Minister to respond. Thing I need to add to no, you, you've saying. gone past your 30. No, I want to look at the little boy in the background, how he woke up him out a while ago. When the, look, the, when the youth say, um, Andrew Wallace came across too strong and him should apologize and all of that because other um, people are watching and the youth of Jamaica are watching and this and that. And you understand me? I say, look how him open up him mouth and then him touch him in watch same time and tell the woman say time. And then same time the woman say time. Same time the woman said time, them don't even let him finish what he had to say. Them don't even let him finish what he had to say. And then now, them are going to tell him about boundaries. What boundaries are there? If you carry the Prime Minister, so nobody at all if you carry the Prime Minister. What is the boundaries? If you tell the Prime Minister, say, him come across too strong, him was wrong, him should apologize, and that's not call the boundaries. How oh, do expect the youths of Jamaica to behave when they want to behave like that? Hmm? Lady, you is a disgrace. You. You is a national and a national and a national disgrace. You worse than Andrew Wallace. You should love the youth. Make the youth talk. And you see that little one, you see they come up. You see him when they come up, one bag of nice things about Andrew Wallace. We're frightened for man. You see that little one, he not come better than Andrew Wallace. He might see him damn thing like Andrew Wallace. You might see him thing. But listen to his response. Let me, let me be frank with you, right? Let me be frank with you. I was a young man too. And that's an excellent strategy that you tried to use a while ago. I commend you. Excellent strategy. But I learned one lesson in my political career passion and when you believe in something you have to stand for it and you have to speak with passion and you know 
I'm, I'm sure Thomas knows that it was a very good back and forth response. And you made some points, Thomas, and I made some points. Exactly. And at the end of it, Thomas is going to sit me and say, Heal, Prime Minister. And I'm going to say, Heal, Thomas. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Come on now. That is just how debates go. Yes. And, you know, when we are talking and our hands are gesticulating, as long as we remember to be respectful, respectful. that the person, the person who should not be violated, and that the opinions must be respected. Absolutely. Right? You agree? So when I hear him, I try to change up his mouth and all of that, about that's how debate go like him and nobody did a debate. The youth, them ask a question, them not debate with you. So nobody can lie to the people, them. And they make it look pretty by your side, like say, you never did a rough up you, them, and you never did a rush them. You, you make it sound like you're in a debate, you never did a debate, the youth, them ask a question. You come and an answer the youth, them question, instead of rush them. And, and just simple question, them ask you, you know. Them ask a simple question, and instead of come and answer the youth, them question, you come and you start rush them up, forget them afraid. The other one, if you come and say, boy, I want to ask you a question, but, him know why you come across strong pan him same way. But yet still you still come across and the youth strong same way. You understand? I wanna still lock off the youth mic and you sit down as the prime minister. And see how the, the worst, the hungry the youth, they cut off the youth before time and all of that. You understand what I say? And you now say nothing because you want the question to pass by. You don't want to answer no question about the need. You don't want to answer no question about the need. But people may already tell you, you know, you see this need thing here? It is inside of the Samoa Agreement. This need business cannot be trusted. It cannot be trusted, people. There is another way out. There is another way out. Create a different identification. We don't need this one. We don't need this one. You understand what I say? And then, Andrew Wallace, we can never, ever trust you because you cannot be trusted. From you go sign the Samoa Agreement, eh? me can't trust you again, none at all. I will never, ever, ever, ever trust you. And then now, you can't even give no information on the Samoa Agreement. Just like you can't give no information on the same need business. Eh? Because until today, you don't give a clear answer about this need business. Eh? All you know do, I get up and lie to the Jamaican people, them. And then it come like the Jamaican people, them love. When you lie to them, well, uh, they want them with colorblind, rather. They want them with colorblind. Them love it when you lie to them. Them enjoy it when you lied to them. Mr. PM, you, you have to try to do better, you know. You have to try to do better. Yeah, man. You have to try to do better. You can't get up every day. You can't live your life in a lies. You understand? You're not afraid. You just live time and for the rest of your life. Come on, man. Better than what you do, man. Treat the people of Jamaica better than what you treat them. And them vote you in a power. And them make you who you be right now. So deal with the people them better. It was a national disgrace. How you deal with those youths. All because they question you. About your need ID business. It is a national disgrace how you hang with them and how the host hang with them and how you want to cut off them time. All of you are a national disgrace. But people stay the thought down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. Alright? And the way to 100k subscribers. Now, bless up on yourself, people.